So, uh, welcome back to Pokemon Glazed. I'm your host, The Muncher, and today we're going to be taking on Leaf's Gym again, the hard-working gardener. It's, uh, it's pretty tough. Um, thank you all so much for the comments in the last episode. You know, they were pretty helpful. Uh, we're gonna be taking on the gym again, and we're gonna need to stock up on a couple of items beforehand. Mainly Awakenings, because, you know, it's got some grass types weak to, uh, let's see, what is grass weak to? Flying type, fire type, uh, I think rock type. Oh, it's right, poison! Poison type, they're weak to poison, hmm. Well, 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 oh, well, oh, well. Um, we're gonna be taking on the gym again. As you guys know, Tangrowth was a pretty big pain last time, but, uh, fortunately, we got that Poison Fang on Krogunk, and, uh, that's gonna be pretty helpful. Where the hell is this guy that had the Grovile for adoption? Don't really remember. I'm gonna get that, though. Uh, I've gone ahead and deposited Ilvis back to the PC. He's back to making more songs about foxes and other things things, I guess. So, here's Grovile. We're gonna get him. I don't know if I'm really gonna use him the entire time, but, uh, we're definitely gonna catch him. And I thought this was, like, an adoption center, so I didn't know we get to nickname the Pokemon, but I'm gonna name him Grover. I've used a Grovile before, and that was his name. And, uh, I guess we're using one again. Anyway, I honestly thought that Tangrowth was a poison type, or half poison at least, because he's got those well, you'll, you'll see. He's got basically poison tips on his hand, and he's a giant bush of vines, and I don't know. I just kind of assume that all grass types are half poison, so uh, he's kind of a little bit like Krogunk, actually. The tips of his fingers are kind of filled with poison, and then the little pouches. I just realized the fighting type is just says, figure. That's pretty cool. Anyway, um, I apologize. You guys can keep on making fun of me all you want. That's totally okay with me it's not the first time it's happened around these parts so uh rematch coming up and we're gonna speed through this because it's still actually gonna be pretty tough considering all of his pokemon have sleep powder so that's gonna be fun at least he hasn't leech seeded us yet but uh we've got five awakenings hopefully that's enough but the leech seed leftovers sleep powder combo is still gonna be pretty annoying i do also realize i could have used endeavor that was actually my bad that I didn't think of that, but honestly, I did think that Tangrowth was a half poison type. And I don't know, man. That made me not feel like using Poison Fang, I guess, because then it would have been not very effective if I'd use it. But uh, apparently, he's just a grass type, which I forgot. And some people did actually realize that. Why did I just send Rivet against a poison type? See, this guy's a poison type. I just kind of assumed that all grass types are half poison. I don't know. Maybe that's just my bad, but that's just an assumption that I, like, always make with grass types. So, there goes Venusaur, finally. Took a while, but, uh, we're gonna send him... Actually, I deposited Eevee. I meant to deposit Ilvis, because... Ilvis is level 15, and Eevee was at least 20, so... I guess I deposited the wrong Pokemon there. Anyway, uh, hopefully we can take care of this Leafeon. He does do a lot of damage with that double... Double Edge, I think it's what it's called. Uh, but we take it out anyway. And finally, here he is! The devil himself, Tangrowth. So look at the tips of his, I guess, little tentacle things. They're like red. I don't know. I kind of, I thought that looked a little bit like poison. But either way, we're going to get put to sleep immediately. So good stuff there. That poison fang doing, doing a, a number on him. Uh, so now we're going to get leech seated. Thankfully, that misses. Now what we need to hope for is basically get a, a poisoning on him, which we have not gotten yet for some reason. Twice now, and we have not gotten it, so go ahead and take in that sunlight, that's okay with me. Um, the Poison Fang itself, as you see, does not do that much damage, so I don't know. I mean, it would have taken him out because he was so, so low in that battle last episode, but it still doesn't even do that much damage. Tankrowth is a giant tank. He's a giant bundle of tentacles and vines and... I don't know, man. He's he's Tangrowth, and inside there is a little Mr. Popo. You can see his eyes there. I mean, that's what I've always thought. I, I think Mr. Popo is hiding somewhere in there in Dragon Ball Z. You can see it in his eyes, those evil little beady eyes. So finally we take him out, mainly from the poisoning, not really the fang itself damage. But uh, still, I apologize. I don't know, man. 
I just feel like grass types... I mean, I guess they are weak to poison, because you throw, like, poison on a plant and it's gonna die, but... I don't know. I thought it was a half poison type. So, either way, we've got the stem badge. Let's put that behind us and just learn from this that Tangrowth and Tangela are pure grass types. I mean, there's 700 Pokemon out there, plus... And it's kind of hard to remember all the typings of all of them, but I know that you guys out there do, so I'm sorry. We got the badge though, right? That's all that matters, is that we got the badge. And that will allow us to use the move Strength Outside of Battle. I want you to take this too for being such a good sport. TM22, which is probably going to be Grass... Tangrowth is Grass type attack. Nope, it's Solar Beam. I thought it was going to be the... Tangrowth is grass attack. Alright, I recommend you to try for the Icicle Badge next at the North Coast Town Gym. You can get to North Coast Town by going through Stratus Mountain. Thanks again for a great battle. You're welcome, Leaf. Thanks again for the pain and suffering that you have brought upon me. And the crying myself to sleep at night. And the hiding under the covers in shame. Not a, I'm kidding. None of that actually happened. I'm kind of in a tight spot right now. I found Team Fusion and their bosses here. Can you come to Mount Stratus and lend a hand? I don't know if I can take all these grunts by myself, and you've proven yourself more than capable. Please hurry. So that's Blake, the Elite Four, once again proving that he is not capable of taking on some grunts. Don't know how, but uh, we're going to switch out Ilvis here for Eevee. Um, some people actually mentioned that in this beta somehow the fire or sorry the special and physical split is actually existent i don't really know how it works but i'm not 100 percent sure on that one apparently beta 5 actually has different splits depending on the the type i don't know i don't really know how it works honestly so i can't say 100 percent that that's true so i don't know if i'm going to use flareon because as i said last episode flareon is more of a physical attacker and he's got special moves which is also a thing on the dark type which i keep forgetting as well is that dark is a special uh, special, <clears throat> sorry, special attacking move, I guess, in this generation, because, I don't know, dark type is more like a dark fighting, rather, like, I don't, I've always heard that, and if you look at the moves, it's more like dirty fighting, rather than actually being, like, darkness coming at you, like, faint attack is like a, you come from behind and attack them, sucker punch, you know, like, you throw a dirty punch, um, I, I'm sure I've read that somewhere, or seen it in a video or something, where the fighting where dark is basically like an evil fighting type instead of being like actual darkness consuming you which would be more along the special line but at least in this generation most of the dark type attacks were seem to be physical but they are actually special so I don't know man it's hard it's hard especially with the newer generations being here um, because I'm used to playing with that I guess knowing with that knowledge but uh, even then hang growth Tangrowth, Tangrowth, Tangrowth. Hey, at least it provided entertainment for some people. A lot of people actually said they found it quite humorous that I'm an idiot, so... <laughs> um, you win some, you lose some, right? Alright, uh, someone actually pointed out that uh, Pikachu, the, you know, the Pikachu that stole our badges, is over this way. And let's talk to this guy. He seems to be starting there. Alright, so the foreman is missing once again. I'm actually gonna try and reorganize our items because... Um, yeah, we need to put this all the way up at the top. Put all these antidotes at the top, put all these awakenings up at the top, and uh, that's about it, so fair luck. Alright, let's make our way back through this cave. I'm gonna spray that repel, because we've already seen what's lurking in these dark passages of this cave. Um, mainly the Fanfi that we already caught, so not really a big deal there. Here's some more TNT. I think there should be an area. Yeah, last time, uh, since we have the avalanche going on, we couldn't get past... A certain point which is actually right here um, I don't have strength so I'm not sure where we're supposed to go here or I do have strength but we don't have the badge actually we do have the badge to use strength at least so we might be able to do that now let's let's check it out all right we do have the TM for strength I'm not sure when we got it but we're gonna go ahead and teach that to ribbit he's a good physical attacker and I mean normal oh wait okay normal is physical in this generate I really hope it is I don't exactly remember, but we're gonna go ahead and get rid of Mudslap. I think it is, though, because someone said that, like, Hyper Beam is really weird in this generation because it's a physical attack and it's, you know, it's a giant beam of hyper energy. It's a little strange. Uh, but there we go. We made it a little bit deeper into Mount Stratus, and now we've got some Team Fusion Grunts to take on. Don't mess with us, or we'll kick you in the bus. Hey, what's up, Penny Proud, once again? Um, but yeah, we're gonna keep 
Ribbit with the EXP share. I mean, Swellow is pretty dang high level, level 36 right now, so... I don't know, it just kind of sucks that all of these guys have Fighting-type Pokemon. Once again, they have the same Pokemon. Hitmontop, Hitmonchan, Hitmon uh, Lee, and then uh, this guy's gonna have, like, Girder and the Timber or something, or, like... What else do they have? Tyrogue, something like that. Let's let's find out what she's got. Ooh, Gallade! Never mind, just as I say this, another very different Pokemon comes out with the Gallade there. Um, Swellow actually almost died. He's, like, at 1 HP, so we're gonna go ahead and Super Potion him up. I think I might switch someone else up to the first position. Finn here. I think you'll be able to do some damage. Time to squash the vermin! Um, so yeah, uh, by the way, we have, ooh, Scrafty here, that's interesting. We have Earthquake, so I do need to teach that to Finn, as my bad. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that as soon as he dies in this battle. It's a little unfortunate there. Yeah, we'll teach that to him right in this very second, even though he's already dead and I don't have any other revives, so, uh, it's kind of useless now. But, just so that I don't forget to do it later, we'll do it right now. Earthquake, and nope, not on Rivet. Um actually on Finn, who is dead, but he's still gonna be able to learn that, so Mud Slap, go away. And there we go, so, let's keep on going. I'll stop you myself! I see like a Zoroark fighting a Darkrai over there, what was that? Actually, I'm not sure if it was a, a Darkrai, but we'll see in a second. I think it was. Speaking of the Dark-type beast Pokemon here, we got uh, the triple come combination of fire fighting type starters. Seriously, I can't believe they did that three times in a row still. Fire and Fighting type three times in a row for the starters. So yeah, Zoroark versus Darkrai. I saw that right. Darkrai attack! Very fair there. Drake, Blake, whatever his name is, with a Darkrai. Because that's not a little bit strong or anything. Thank goodness you're here. They're holding the foreman hostage on the upper floors. I'll hold Michael off. You rescue him. Oh, Michael, once again, don't you dare meddle, you brat. Zoroark, a lot of people think Zoroark is also a legendary, but that's like dark against dark. That's not going to end well. It's just like... They're kind of hitting each other off with, like, faint attacks, and, um, what are some other dark attacks? I don't, I don't even know. The only two dark attacks I really know are, like, uh, sh uh, uh, Sucker Punch and Faint Attack, at least in this generation. Then there's, like, Dark Pulse, which does seem a little bit more like a special attack, but, you know, at that point, there's the special split, so whatever. Alright, so we see Pikachu over there. Uh, we got a Sea Incense right here. I'm not sure what that's used for. Maybe it's one of those incenses that, like, you can use to breed a baby Pokemon. Hey, it's Henry! If you keep up... Uh, oh, wait, that's Pikachu talking to Henry. Henry, if you keep up work like this, you'll be high in ranking in no time. An intruder? Uh, I wasn't expecting an intruder. And it's you, no doubt. You have the advantage here. You take this meddling fool down. This is your... Some. I'll destroy you and all of those who interfere with the great plans of Team Fusion. Uh, or I'll try. Alright, Henry, I like the confidence going into this battle. He's not even, he's literally, he's just a grunt. He has the same sprite as a grunt, but he's actually going to have a Huntail, which is a little bit, uh, I guess not coincidence, but lucky that we have Simba up first, because that is definitely a water taste. Kind of crazy that I was talking about, like, weird water animals this last episode, and, and now we have Huntail here, a prime example of that. And I guess one of the Pokemon where I'm just like, what is this? It's one of the ones that you don't really see very often. Same thing with Gorobis. They're just like very weird Pokemon. And they evolve from Clam Pearl, which... How a clam with a little pearl evolves into a dolphin and an angler fish. Well, that's kind of what they look like, but it's not really certain. Anyway, how they evolve into that is very strange to me. Also, Gorobis has little clams where I guess, you know things. No, no, no! That's not the way to do it like this! You may have noticed, but I'm a member of Team Fusion now. They gave me even stronger attacks. Also, I could take you down. Now I'll have my revenge! Even though you stole our badges. You know, that literally renders me useless now because I can't do anything. I don't have any badges. I can't proceed through my journey without them. So thank you, Pikachu, for that. That is great. Um... So yeah, it would be pretty helpful if we had Finn at this point, but we don't, so... Um... Charge it up! I wonder what he's gonna have, actually. Yeah, I was kind of expecting an Iron Tail there. Wow! Wow, okay, well... Damn it all! How could I lose again? This is all you and your bloody team's fault. You were supposed to help me beat this punk, but I'm still getting pushed around. I'll be back, don't worry! 
Ah, oh, the way you stood up to that rude Pikachu, it was amazing. I am Henry, my dad. He runs the team and forced me to join, but I don't want to. Oh, here, Pikachu dropped these in his rage. Thank you, Henry. What a great guy. You might want to change out of those prison clothes, though. They don't really suit you well. You know, I heard uh, black is the new orange, so you might want to wear that instead. I'm sorry, I was just acting under orders from Dad. I'm gonna try and sneak you out, okay? Team Fusion wants to do terrible things. I don't know the plan, but it involves Mew. Please try and stop them. Goodbye! Okay, well, he's gonna sneak out the foreman, not us. I thought he was gonna sneak us out. I'm not sure how. It's like, I'm being a little sneaky here. Oh, oh they saw me! Uh-oh! Darkrai, the final blow. Wow, that must have taken a while. Faint attack against faint attack there. What is Darkrai's signature move? I forget. It's like Void something, I think. Were you able to rescue the hostage? Ugh, this is Henry might have good intentions, but you could never tell. I'd keep an eye on him. I'd better check to see the foreman really was rescued then. Was it that feeling? No, not now. Oh, no, we're being teleported to another dimension. Oh, no, 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 no. You brought someone else with you. This is terrible. Some people feel really guilty about converting other people, even by accident. Excuse me, but can someone tell me what the hell is going on? You see, it's like this. Story time! It's a lot to take in, but I guess stranger things have happened. Can you think of who might be responsible for what's happening with the universe's Team Fusion? Oh, 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 Luke is in a confused thing. Henry, one of our members, mentioned something about exploiting Mew. While this is troubling news, it does give us a lead. Mose, will you keep an eye on Team Fusion and try to figure out what they're doing? You can help out too, Blake, if you want. Unfortunately, you'll have episodes of flashing between our universes too. I'll make it my main priority. It's already been something I've been doing, but I never imagined it on this scale. I can feel the tug of the portal back to your universe. Safe travels! Okay, so we literally only travel to talk to Luke. Which is alright with me, Luke is a pretty cool guy. Um, he's a pretty great guy. Must go back to the league. Are you, is, are you Blake or are you Luke going back to the league right now? Hmm. They're already unhappy with me leaving as is. North Coast Town is just up ahead. I hope you brought your cold weather gear. Good luck with Irene. Alright, so we've rescued our badges, or I guess, well... Let's just say we rescued them. We took down Leaf and his evil Tangrowth and learned some more about uh, the crazy plot of this game. So next time, I guess we'll be making our way over there to the next gym, the snow place. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and I'll see you guys then.